Hi and welcome back to this channel. We have discussed what happens from the time you submit your DS-260 up to the time you receive your interview notification. But a question of concern for many of you has been, how long does it take from the time you receive your interview notification up to the time that your interview is actually conducted? And so in this video, I will be explaining to you that time frame. That is what we have on today's menu. Let's go into it. So how long does it take from the time you receive your interview notification up to the time that your interview is conducted? It is like asking how long do you have to prepare for your diversity visa interview because that duration is what you actually have to prepare for your diversity visa interview. Now, the answer to that question depends on when you receive your interview notification. By the way, interview notification is what is also referred to as second letter or second notification letter or NL2 or 2NL. All of those expressions refer to your interview notification. That is the letter you receive from KCC informing you that your interview has been scheduled. Back to what I was saying, depending on when you receive your interview notification, that duration could be different. Interview notifications for a given diversity visa program start to be sent out from the month of August that precedes the diversity visa program in question right after the visa bulletin is published and they should normally continue to be sent out up to August the following year, just before the visa bulletin is published. And so, in case you receive your interview notification from the month of August before the program actually begins, up to the following August when the program is about to end, then the duration between your interview notification and your interview itself could be anywhere from four to 12 weeks. Now, how did I come up with that? Let us use interview notifications for the month of March as example. Notifications for March interviews could be sent out anytime from the second week of January to the beginning of February. And those notifications concern interviews to be conducted throughout the month of March. And so if we should take into consideration the shortest possible duration, that is from the beginning of February when the latest interview notifications are sent out to the beginning of March when the earliest interviews are conducted, that is four weeks. That is how we came up with the four weeks. And then if we take it the other way around, that is the longest possible duration from the second week of January when the earliest interview notifications for March are sent out up to the end of March when the latest interviews are conducted, that is 12 weeks. That is how we came up with the duration being anywhere from four to 12 weeks. So applicants who are to be interviewed in the month of March, receive their interview notifications, and they see that their interview is scheduled anywhere from four to 12 weeks. And that is the same for all applicants who receive their interview notifications anytime from August before the program actually kicks off up to August the following year when the program is about to end. Now, when it comes to September, the final month of the program year, that duration is different. Normally, there should not be interviews scheduled in the month of September to be conducted during that same month of September. As I mentioned in a recent video, interview scheduling should normally come to an end by the end of the month of July. And so the final batch of interview notifications for a given program should be sent out 
in early August. Before the visa bulletin is published, which shows the new interviews to be conducted at the beginning of the upcoming program. But that is not what we have experienced in recent years. Even up to the month of September, we still see interviews being scheduled and interview notifications being received for interviews to be conducted during that same month of September, which is the final month of the program year, which should actually not be. But in cases where that happens, the duration from when you receive your interview notification up to when your interview is actually conducted is anywhere from one to four weeks. Four weeks being the highest because when you are scheduled for an interview in the month of September, the final month of the DV program, that interview is not allowed to go beyond the 30th of September into the month of October. So anytime in the month of September that you are scheduled for interview to be conducted during that same month of September, that interview will not be more than four weeks away. And then it is possible for that duration to be only a week as we saw in recent years. In cases where the fiscal year is very close to ending, but there are still visas available and there are embassies that are still in the position to interview some cases, it is possible for applicants to receive their interview notifications within only one week of the interview. So there is no fixed duration from the time you receive your interview notification up to the time that your interview is actually conducted. And another thing is that before you receive your interview notification, you do not know how long that duration will be. It is only after you receive your interview notification that you get to know the duration. For some, it could be as long as 12 weeks, for others, as short as four weeks, and for others, anywhere between. And then in case it is during the final month of the program year, then it could be as short as even one week. So do not think that because another case had a duration of eight weeks, so eight weeks is also going to apply in your case. Yours could be shorter or longer. But whatever the case is, be sure to continue to check for your interview notification once your case has met the necessary requirements. And then when you receive it, also make sure to honor it by attending your interview. So that is it. That answers the question, how long do you have to prepare for your diversity visa interview after receiving your interview notification? Which brings us to the end of today's discussion. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, God willing, goodbye.